Hello, so today I have a live solve for you. This is Vortex by Nitiant Agarwal. Um, I believe I've done, I know I've done at least one of his other puzzles uh, before, um, and I believe it was very difficult, and it might have turned into a showcase. I'm sorry, I didn't actually prep <laughs> for the video and look that up. Um, but uh, I saw this on the Discord, and from what I can tell by the Discord ratings, it's probably about a 1.5 out of 5 difficulty, so hopefully not too bad. So go ahead and, and you know, don't be scared by the, uh, the creator of the puzzle. Um, not all puzzles are, have to be difficult. Um, so go ahead and give this one a try um, before I do. And you can check the link below if you want to try it yourself. Um, let me just go over the rules. It's, it's standard arrow and standard crop key dots um, with no negative constraint. So we have normal Sudoku rules. And then these arrows, um, there's a circle with an arrow coming out of it. If you add up the cells in an arrow, they sum to the value in the circle. So for example, if this were 1 and this were 2, then this would have to be 3. And uh, additionally, we have two white dots. We don't have any black dots. So these are white crop key dots, and they just signify that there is a difference of one um, between these two cells. So whichever one's larger, you subtract the one that's smaller, you get a difference of one. Another way to put that is they have to be consecutive. So those are all the rules. Again, uh, Discord seems to say that it is not too difficult and it has a lot of solves, some good ratings. So go ahead and give it a try yourself first and then come back and you can watch my solve. So I will get started now. Um, this one confused me for, for a little bit when I was initially looking at the puzzle when I brought it up. And it's not an X, it's two arrow ends um, that are both hitting the same cell. Um, so. With arrows and no other information, um, something that's usually useful is you can't ever put a nine on an arrow. Um, and in fact, this one is super restricted, so I think I might look at that also. But um, just to finish that thought, um, if you put a nine on an arrow, you can't unless unless it's a one sized arrow, um, you then couldn't put anything in the in any of the other cells and because you'd add to more than nine and obviously this the circle has to add to more than that. So for example, in this box here, nine can't be in these cells. Um, I almost looked at that wrong and put a nine in these three, but that's not true. These could be nine. In fact, this one is probably nine, but um, yeah, I think probably looking at this is the way to go. <laughs> um, this one and this one here. So this, the minimum it would add to, if it were one, two, three, um, it would add to six. And then these at minimum are one, two, which adds to three. And so that, that does add to nine. So these have to be their minimums, and then this has to be nine. And I think this is the same, where this is one, two, and this is one, two, three. So that's a good start. Um, this one then can't be 9, and we can't have a 1 or 2 on it. So by minimum, this is 3, 4, which adds to 7. So we can be, can we add to 8? Yeah, we can be 3, 5 to add to 8. Um, I guess we, could be, we can't be 2, 6, or 1, 7 to add to 8, because um, we can't use 1 or 2. So 3 is our minimum, 3, 4 is our minimum, adding to 7. And then we can just barely do 8 by doing 3, 5, but there's no other way to make 8. Um, because we can't do 4, 4, and then again, we can't use a 2 or a 1. So this at minimums, this also, this sees a 1, 2, and 3 as well. Um, and this is at minimum 3. So if this were the minimum 3, this could be a 4 adding to 7. This, this can be 9, though. So this, could, this has to be 7, 8, or 9. And then if this were a 3, this would be 4, 5, or 6. And then a 4 would make it a 3. Um, it couldn't be 4, 4, but it could be 4, 5. And then a 5 could use it. Oh, no, we can't have 2 or 3. Sorry, that's... I just said that, and then I forgot. So can we be 5? Yeah, we can just barely do 5, 4, 9. So I think this is 4, 5, 6. All right. Um, what else can we do? Whichever one 
of seven, eight, this isn't. Actually, okay, so we, we need a six, we need a six here. Um, neither of these can be six, which I went over already. And then it's gonna be the one of three, four, five that's missing and the one of seven, eight that's missing, which I don't really have a good way to notate. So I'll just try to remember that. These both add to nine. Doesn't tell me a whole lot. This is six, seven, or eight. Just because one, two, again, one, two, three adds to, well, this can't be one, two, or three. So this is minimum four. So if it were four, one, two, that's seven. So this is six or seven, or sorry, this is seven or eight. Um, So this is four or five. I think those can't exceed three. So four plus three is seven, and then we can have a one. Because we can't be nine because of this nine. Um, okay, what else can we do? Well, if this is consecutive, this is two, three, or, well, this is one, two, three, or four. Um, so to add to nine, with the four we get five, and then we just go higher from there. Oops, not nine. For five, six, seven, eight. I feel like there's probably something super obvious that I'm missing here. Um, I don't really want to just go through every arrow and fill all the possibilities. This one has a lot that it can be. Maybe I should be looking at nines in terms of where they can go in different boxes. I'm not really seeing like, maybe there's a row or a column that I've been not paying attention to that needs a nine or, I mean, I kind of looked at the boxes already. I mean, obviously nine's here somewhere. It's from Sudoku. These also can't be one, two. So at minimum we're three, four. So this is a seven, eight, or nine. Um, so we can be six, three to make nine. These basically aren't limited at all. So there's something about, so there's a relationship between these two cells and this one. So for example, if I if I were seven here, I'd have to be three, four. So one option is three here and four here, in which case this would have to be the five in order for four plus five to be nine. So seven, uh, three, four, five, nine, or we'd be seven, four, three, in which case this could be five or six for eight or nine. But either way, a seven here means this isn't a seven. I'm not sure how to use that. There might be more to it that I'm not seeing, or maybe it's used later, but an eight could be three, five. <coughs> Sorry, an eight must be three, five. If it were three, five this way, this would have to be four, and that's nine. So eight forces nine in the case of three, five. The other option is five, three, 
in which case this would be 4, 7, or 6, 9. So, an eight, so these two are never the same number. I guess that much should be obvious, because just thinking about it a different way, whatever this cell is, these two are different, which means these two are different. So these are different numbers. And I guess that's also obvious just from the box logic. So whatever isn't in this one of the 7, 8 is in one of these three, which sees this one. So that's not so surprising. This can't be 1, 2, or 3. So at best, we're doing 4, 1 to make 5 here. Just means that 4 can't be in this one. <coughs> Doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Oh, I made almost no progress. There must be more to this break in that I'm just not seeing. I wonder if he uses Pistemafel's theorem. Let's use some of these new colors. That might not be so visible though. Let's use some lighter colors. This might not go anywhere, but it's always nice to look at Fissimafel's theorem. So I'm not going to completely explain why, um, but there's something that's that at least uh, on Cracking the Cryptic is called Fissimafel's theorem, sort of as caught on as the... Um, I don't think Fissimafel necessarily invented the theorem, but he certainly popularized it, and I don't really want to get into any kind of debate about who invented what, but the idea is Whatever values appear in these cells, those exact set of values must appear in the green ones. So whatever values are in the pink cells must appear in the green ones and vice versa. It's an exact replica, essentially. Um, you don't know how they're rearranged or ordered, but what you do know is that um, it must occur. So if you think about, let's think about, um, I'll, put a, I'll put a little info box up there to one of Cracking the Cryptic's explanations for, for that, which I'll, I'll try to find uh, for you. But either way, um, let's think about ones to start with. So how many ones are in this ring? Uh, we have one here, two, three, and four. And how many ones are in these green cells? Well, there's four boxes, so there's four ones. Same with twos, there's four twos in the ring. And so then there must be four twos in the green ones, which means there are no ones and twos in the entirety of this windmill. And I guess that can be seen without Fissimafel's theorem, because we have the, the one the one two pairs or the one two three pairs that all see into here. Um, so we don't necessarily need the Fissimafel's for that, but that it's clear that it's true. So for example, we I'm gonna I can corner mark one two here. One, two here, one, two here, and one, two here. Um, additionally, we need at least two threes. Um, okay, so I, okay, so this, this much I didn't see here. The one, two sees down here. So this is a three, which means this isn't a three. So this is one of the ones or twos. So with that being three, that really limits this sum, doesn't it? So. Did I do this sum incorrectly because of uh... No, so th this has to be 413. Okay. 
I probably didn't need Fist of Hell's Theorem, but I'm going to leave that up anyway. Um, so this is an 8. This can't be 8. And these can't be 4. I think I probably made a, a difficult puzzle out of an easy puzzle here by not seeing a 1-2 pair forever. Um, but, you know, happens. Um, almost all my solves. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, thought, I said I'd work on it, but it happens every, every live solve. Um, these can't be one anymore. Um, okay, what up? Okay, and then that means this one's seven. So this can't be, these can't be five anymore. Um, that's a three, four pair. So if it's three, five, that's an eight. And if it's three, six, that's a nine, or we can be four, five, nine. Okay. Um, that makes things a bit easier. So... Coloring might just be confusing me at this point, but uh, so that means here we do need an eight. Yeah, so then that this has to be nine. So then three, six, or four, five, okay. And then oh yeah, so this is this is this is a known triple. This is five, six, eight. This is not eight. So I'm thinking about this. This might not go anywhere. I'm thinking about where six can go in this row. But I think it can still go here. But anyway, um, this one can't be six because of the five, six, eight. This one actually can't be six because um, this the sum can't be nine. Um, and so if this were six, we'd either add to eight with a two. Why would that be a problem? Maybe I was missing. This can't be a one because of the one in the row. So I guess this can't be, we can't have a. No, this could be six, two, eight. I must have been missing something when I was looking at it earlier. Okay, never mind. This can be six, and so can this anyway. Um. Interestingly, with the Fistimafel ring, and again, I'm not sure this is necessary to use, but um, none of the corners can be three, which means I only get the two threes in the greens. So I have exactly two threes in the greens. Um, so I can limit where those go. I'm not sure I can at this point. Well, I know that there's a three in one of these two, because I, obviously I can't do five, six. That adds to 11. So we're either three, five, wait, we can't make seven anymore either. I'm making this puzzle way harder than it needs to be. I know that's going to be in the comments. Um, sorry, it can't be a seven. It must be nine, which means it has to be three, six. So I'm just trying, I'm, I'm looking at where threes can go. Um, in the greens. Here we're actually forced to have a three. So this is one of them. Yeah, 
And that's just because this 3, 6 looks up here. Um, this 1, 2, 3 sees this way, and this 3 sees up here. So there's a 3 here. Okay, so where does 3 go in this column? It has to be in the green. And that's our last 3. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true from this to 3, 4. So our last 3 is in one of these 3. I'm probably just making this way too hard on myself. This arrow here can't be 1, 2, or 3, so it has to be 4, 5, 9. How to solve this puzzle in the most strange way possible is what this video is turning into. Um, instead of seeing the obvious stuff, how many 9s do I have? This is 9. This is the last 9. So there's our, those are my two 9s in the in the green. These are triple, um, four, five, and seven. This is not seven. These can't be one, two, or three either, but I think I looked at this earlier and didn't come to too many conclusions about that. This is going to be a triple though, so this is six, seven, eight. Um, two in this row goes here or here. Three in this row is in one of these two. What is this sum to? How low can it get? So this is this is a minimum four. Um, no, this is minimum five because there's a four in the row. And then this is minimum two. So this adds to seven or eight. So that could be five, two, or five, three, or six, six, three. Um, to add, oh, no, not six, three. Six, two, to add to eight. I think that's it. Um, What else do we have? Is there, I mean, maybe I do look at these arrows or... We need an 8 in this column. I suppose that could go in a few places. Can't go here. But it could go any of these three. Okay, we know the one is here. The two could go anywhere. 
can't be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is not eight or six. This is not seven. Two or seven. Is there a limit on this sum that I'm not understanding? So 1, 8 certainly seems possible. Um, that would make this a 2. I would put the 8 here. 2, 7. Would put a one here and a seven here. Otherwise, seems okay. Three six is not possible because I would eliminate this cell. So there's something with these nine sums where they we have a lot of them. And then 4, 5 is the other one, which I think is okay. It would put a 7 here, 3 here, 6 here, 8 here. Just barely works, I think. Oh, what's the obvious step? Two, three, four, five. Where does five go? One of these three. Six, seven, Interestingly, this cell can't be 5, because if it's 5, it forces a 3 here, and the 3 would have to go with a 5 to sum to 8. Can't go with the 6, because we can't be 9. So this can't be 5, these can't be 5, these can't be 5. So 5 is limited to these two, and if I could just limit that a bit more, that would be more useful. So in this box, 5 is up here somewhere, not here. There's a 5, 6, and a 3, 4 pair here. So what do we need? I think I have way too much. Yeah, I don't, this can't be 6 or 7. Um, so it looks like 1, 2, 8 is the remaining candidates. Unfortunately, that's all possible. This one can't be six either. Okay, so where does six go in this row then? These aren't six. Five, six pair, five, six, eight, triple. Um, this isn't six because we can't achieve the six sum. We'd need to be like, this is five minimum, and this can't be one. These can't be six because of the six, seven, eight, triple. And this can't be six because of three, six. So this is six. Sorry for the long-winded explanation there. I was just double-checking myself. Um, so this is a triple, whatever's left in the column. Two, uh, three, and eight. This isn't two or three, so this has to be eight.
So this is our two, three pair. So this is not two. This isn't one, two, or three. So this is four minimum, which makes this a six or higher, and it can't be nine. So we can be four, five, or six. Looks about right. Can't be seven. <clears throat> All right. I feel like we're close. There's some, some piece of logic I'm missing. Seven is almost usefully limited, limited in this row. So what's left in this row? Five, six, four, five, six, seven? Is any of that limited? This can't be five or six. Because of the five, six, eight here. Don't see anything else limiting that. I think this is also four or five, six or seven. Is that this whole column? Well, four can't be here, so four is up here somewhere. So what is this? If this is a six or seven? Well, where does eight go in this uh, column? Ah, oh, there's, yeah, so we need an eight. Eight's in one of these two. But it's not here. Okay, so we can place this eight. I wonder if we can finish eights. Where does eight go in this box? One of these three. I don't think much can be gleaned from that. Um, what's remaining here? So we need five, six, and seven. And so this has to be the seven because it sees five and six in the triple. So that's a five, six pair. Does that help? This cell is uh, three. Oh, is it the only one that can be four? How does that happen? This can't be four because it would make the sum too large. Why can't this one be four? Because of the four, five, I see. Okay, so we can place four, three. Three forces five. Um, that sees that, that's a six. So these aren't six. Uh, that has to add to nine. So that's a three and that's a four. That makes this six, three. That's not four. Getting there. Um, that sees here, that's a four. It's probably just scanning at this point. This can't be a four either. This adds to eight. So eight is limited here. So this is this is a one two eight hidden triple. 
because we can't put one, two, or eight here. So this is this is one, two, or eight. So this is a pair. Um, three and uh, oh no, it's a triple. Three, five, seven. Can this be seven? I think it can be. Oh no, this can't be one, two, or three. So this would be four. So there's no way. It can be five, four, nine. Yes, it can be. So it can just barely be four. Uh, with a five. With a three, we can put a five or six. And so this adds to seven, eight, or nine. I think that means it's the only place in the box for a nine. So this is the nine. Which means we're either five, four, or three, six. So this isn't a five. So four and six, I think. We can't be three, four. We can be four, five, six, five, or six, seven. I don't think these are very limited. It can be any of the rest, as far as I can tell. Uh, what else am I missing? This 357 triple sees down here to make this a 6. Um, I guess I could have seen that in a few ways. Um, and this isn't 7, so this is a 1 2 pair. Have I gotten anything in my, like see, I got a six in this corner. That matches this six. Got an eight in this corner. That matches this eight. And then a five, seven pair. So I need a five, seven in these. But that's gonna happen regardless. So yeah, Fismafel's ring was completely useless. Um, this is a triple, two, five, seven. This can't be two. Can it be seven? Yes, it can, but that makes a five, seven pair. So this is four, six. If it's four, we can be six or seven. If it's six, we can be just barely eight. So this should be a pair. This is, um, now let's get rid of this corner mark. Oh no, that's gonna have five or seven possibility, okay. So this is a triple, one, five, seven. I'm not seeing any kind of, oh, four, six here. So this isn't six. So we have four, six, we have not a whole lot else going on. Okay. What's the next step? Um, I think, again, I'm making this too hard. How am I making it too hard, you ask? Well, probably just not cleaning up what I need to. Five, six, pair. So this is a four. So this has to be three, six. This is five. This six sees here, this is eight, six. So this is not eight, one. So it's two, seven, or four, five.
one two pair here means one's not here. Ah, uh, this is a one two. Just to finish the row. The six sees here. This three sees these two. Oh, the three means this has to be two. One is in one of these two cells. Is this a tri this is a, almost a triple, but we have this five seven here screwing it up. So what can it actually be? It can be five seven eight or nine. Nine doesn't go. Oh, I, I've been able to place this nine for a while. I guess so. That's a nine. Is that the last nine? Yeah, I think I thought I finished the nines, so I didn't place it. I'm not sure that really was helpful, though. Um, five, seven, eight. This can't be two. So it's four, five, or seven. Um, where does eight go in this column? Only here, according to my pencil marks. So this is seven, six. So if these aren't seven, then this one's not two. We do have this one, two, three in the column. I also placed six and eight. Let's see. Uh, so this is five, seven. So these aren't seven, and these aren't five. This one, two pair sees here. So this is seven, two. Um, I guess this row was done. Um, I think we're we're almost done here. Just cleaning up. Uh, oh, this adds to nine. That, okay, so that's six, three, or four, five. I think we've known that. This can still be seven or eight. Uh, one in this row. Why can't this be one? I think it can be. I had it corner marked. Ah, but oh, but this two sees here, so this is one. So that's not a one. So this is one, two, one, two, one. These aren't one. This is five. So this is three, six to add to nine. That still can be five or seven. <coughs> Excuse me, that makes a five, seven pair. So this is one, one, I said, five. Um, one sees here. So this is five, seven, eight, looks like. And this one's not seven. So this is a five, seven, eight triple, so this is four. So these aren't four. This has to add to nine, so seven two is our only choice left. So that sees here, five, seven. The seven sees here. Sees here. I'm sure you did better than me on this puzzle, so feel good about that while I clean up. I hope you enjoyed yelling at your screen as I missed obvious things. It's always fun to do that. So hopefully I'm entertainment at least. While I clean this up, I have a 5-8. No, I don't. Something's wrong with my K 
candidates here. I need a four and I need an eight. So hopefully this still works. And this is two, one. And what am I missing here? Two, three. Yay, okay, so that is a way to solve <laughs> Vortex by Nitian Ar Agarwal, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this was a good puzzle. I, it was a, it was at the difficulty level where it's fun. Um, you, it's really just about spotting the next step. There, there was a path to solving this, and I just floundered around and fooled around with Fistimafel's theorem. I know in the comments there's going to be someone saying you didn't need Fistimafel's theorem. I 100% agree, um, but I know you did also didn't watch the outro, so no one watches these outros based on my analytics. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and uh, check out some of my other videos if, if you want to uh, continue watching Sudoku videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And other than that, thanks for watching.